Another doll's house and a whole display cabinet full of dolls. That I've picked up. Wow. A lot of more abandoned babies, so I just oh. had to, like to give them a home. <laughs> oh. And this is a rather long bathroom. Wow, lovely. Yeah, yeah, Make sure you turn that to the back, otherwise you get a face full. <laughs> I mean, if I had the largest van really possible, like say a big long sprinter, this is about the interior of that. Go. You know, it's a good six and a half you feet get a wide. Bed in it, look. Yeah. And a bog yeah. and a shower. Yeah, a good 15 good. feet long. This this is great <laughs> in here. Maybe longer than 15 feet in here. I don't know. We tell that George has spent some time in the States, and this beautiful waistcoat <laughs> reflects the Anglo-American special relationship <laughs> that fake politicians keep going on about. The nice part about the vest, the Union flags on, on the uh, heart. That's the best part of it. So, we can do just, that again. Just chokes you right off. <laughs> <laughs> now let, let's get the Hitchcock angle of Patricia walking down the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> don't look down her cleavage, folks. Show a little it's dignity. Totally knows to stop that. <laughs> Can't believe I missed this one. That's a cracker. <sighs> Reminds me of <laughs> my travels in Asia. But that's another story. This is a family show. <laughs> Any resemblance to Adolf Hitler is entirely coincidental. Look at that there, it's, it's got the the brush to one side parting, it's got the, oh yeah, the little micro tash there, and look at the crown of the head, is just, mmm, mmm, yes, Hitler-esque. Here's the proof you need, because it is, and the turtle means it's made in Germany, and the German word for turtle is of course, Schildkröte. So this, uh, this beam here is un under six foot, and I, I can bang my head on it, and uh, George is taller than me. <laughs> how, how many times have you banged your head on this? Uh, mostly coming up the stairs. Oh, so you get the full crown bash right there, yeah, lovely. It's a behind it, but yes. Uh, oh, look, I'm right at the back of the head. Yeah. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, mostly. Well, you know, it's 6'2", what do you expect? <laughs> In a medieval house. <laughs> oh, so George thinks that my waist might be bigger than his chest. Right, are you ready, folks? Place your bets now. How big? My chest is a 40. Ooh. <laughs> oh, right. Now, wait, are you going to do your belt line or your belly line? Oh, wait, the belly button yeah. circle. Okay, first the belly button circle, which is always bigger than the belt line. The belly button circle is... Quit sucking it in. That's not fair. Have you got enough tape? Have you got enough tape? <laughs> what was he trying to say? Actually. Nothing. You're the one who brought up the question. I didn't. Okay, so around the belly button, I'm breathing in, I'm 43. Oh. Breathing out, I'm 47 around no, the No, give yourself 46. There's oh, overlap there. Four, 46, like okay. a wear clothes of the 46 around the belly button, okay. And the actual waist, which is uh, where I hang my pants, is... Trousers. Trousers in the United Kingdom, thank you very much. Yeah, I don't want to see your underwear. <laughs> 42 waist. <laughs> see, I told yeah. you, 40, I win. <laughs> We were taking bets on enough that he was. I mean, how big his girth was. How big his girth was. His girth. Yeah, and, and when, when he said girth, he went girth of the torso. But let's, let's just get that small right, print Josh. out the way. It's not fat, it's big boned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, now, now for a tour of the garden path. Mm. Oh. Oh, well, this is the door to Narnia, by the way, Tim. Narnia? Some, yes, just be very careful. What do I have to do to go in there? You have to unlock it and go in. Oh. oh I'm just going to press straight through. I think so. Uh, oh. This chair wasn't here, it was daytime. Wrong earth, wrong earth. Oh, 
no, Patricia's not here. I'm in a parallel universe. He says never orange. So we're at the top of their garden now. You can see quite high up. Beautiful. And that little gazebo in the garden is because Patricia wanted a Christmas party outdoors. <laughs> so this is their uh, plantation in the back garden here. And it's just, what, gooseberries and what else was in here? Uh, gooseberries, blueberries, uh, raspberries, loganberries, um, and rhubarb. At least three big plants on the rhubarb. I need to uh, split those this year because they're uh, getting too close. Top this rubble pile here are American and English strawberries. It's like the little bitty pea-sized strawberries, the true old, old English mm. strawberries, the wild, the wild ones. Yes. Mm. The other ones were no, they're oh. Sainsbury's. It's like the jam bar. I bought at uh, Wilkin and Sons yes. the other day, like that. Yes. And this was from uh, our wonderful Tory friend Beeching, who uh, destroyed all the local railways in the 70s and 60s. Awful man. And this bench comes from a local dismantled railway. Different murals. Oh, yeah. lovely. Uh, John, uh, John Minchin, who I really wanted to have. Yeah, look, do a mural look, for look up on, uh, what is it, Glastonbury? No, that's trail, Gables, walk, so. trail walks, glass, yeah. the trail walks of Glastonbury. Uh, it's very interesting. There's some really, really great artists out there. John, John Minchel. Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell. 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 Mm. Mitchell. Okay. I probably what she said, uh, what she said. I probably filmed all the murals last time I was here, I just forgot. Oh, there's new ones. Oh, new, new ones. ones. He's wow. done great big, huge ones. Ew. Uh, it's gone. Hold on, wait. Hey. Oh, he away. Here you go. Try that knuckle trick. There you go. Right. That's working. You see, he touched your nut mm. with the knuckle. He's giving you a good sniff in now. Yeah. Mm. Oh, he's marking your ass. He ain't sniffing shit. He's marking you. With neck scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why well, he, he's got his tail up? He's probably spraying. Oh yeah, head. of course. That's she distracts me with the head, but it's actually the arse gland. Yes. That's, that she's rubbing me with the yeah. sweat of a of a bottom. Yeah. The bollock, yeah. Yes. Well, under the chin, they get it real bad. That's how come I always stroke mine mm. under the chin. Hello, Freddy. I don't. Mm. And now it's it just says, like... "Yes, I've introduced myself to you. Now I'm going to mingle. Bye bye." Uh... Hello darkness, my old friend. Of course, you know what time it is in Glastonbury. It's wine o'clock. Absolutely. You can't buy class like that, folks. <laughs> it's always wine o'clock. <laughs> That's not true. No, I do try to at least keep it to the afternoon. Yeah, at least 4.30. <laughs> yeah. Monsieur and Madame, le vin aujourd'hui, c'est le Malbec. It just got dim enough outside at these uh, solar bulbs all lit up isn't that gorgeous Ooh. magical but um i don't think they're connected to a proper battery so it won't last long yeah no it's when you said that it went bing i uh, know the, the 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 power source is not in the optimal sun so it's not charging oh, yeah. Yeah. as well as it could check the view up chalice hill from there what do you call this? Uh, summer house? Harmony Hut. Oh, oh God, the I Harmony forgot Hut. the Harmony Hut, darling. <laughs> so what's up there? Oh, sheep. Flossy raptors. Where's the mint sauce? And crows chuckling on leafless branches. Oh, it's like a, like a freaking Hitchcock movie, man. The two birds stay and monitor, deciding among them which of the weakest they'll pick out as their prey. 